If your life could be exactly the way you wanted it, what would it look like? Welcome to Clear the Noise Radio, where we interview real people about real hangups. Join us as we help you clear what is blocking you from health, happiness, and success. Now here's your host, writer, speaker, musician, and travel enthusiast, Jessica Crew. Welcome to Clear the Noise Radio. Today we're going to be interviewing Danny McGuire, also known as Vani. Did I get that right? Did, yes. Okay. And Danny is going to be talking with us today about stretching for stress relief. Now, I know a lot of us don't really think sometimes about stretching as being something that's really all that important. Maybe in gym class growing up, we might have been encouraged to stretch before we perform or before we um, do any kind of sport or stretch after gym class. And beyond that, we really don't know what the, the benefits of it are. And I think for probably a while, it's been... Uh, stretching has been pretty underrated, but now it's really coming to the forefront with yoga becoming a very popular thing that people are finding uh, relief with. I, I don't think we think about yoga as having a, a base of stretching involved in it, but it, it seems like it's the core of it is really about stretching. Do, do I have that right, Danny? Um, yes, and we can go into that a little bit more. There is um, a lot that happens with the nervous system. So it's the effort and the relaxation and stretching is definitely a part of that. Okay. Well, first of all, I just want to say, Danny, thank you for being on the show today. Yes. Thanks for having me, Jessica. Danny is a teacher and a yoga therapist and an Ayurvedic wellness educator, as well as a doula. She is the owner of Prana Yoga here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Danny, explain a little bit. You were, you were talking to me a little bit about what being a doula means to you and what it involves. Can you explain that a little? Yeah, well, I've been trained as a doula and a death doula as well. And I like to consider myself as a life doula rather than a life and wellness coach. Um, and that's just from being a yoga therapist because in my experience, um, you know, it's really about holding space for others and helping them unpack whatever it is that they need to unpack. So that could be um, going through birth. You get to see everything unfold within that short time of like 12 to 48 hours, however long it takes for a woman. Um, as a yoga therapist, I'm working on people's life circumstances too and the dis-ease that they're having in their life, whether it's physical, mental, emotional. So I'm helping them unpack those things. But that's a little bit... Um, it's not all at one time. It's like one thread at a time. Um, and then I've also been trained as a death doula. So I haven't actually been there present for a death yet, but I'm trained in that through my oncology training for yoga therapy for cancer. And again, that's just holding space during important times of transformation for people, whether it's figuring out what they want to do, helping them bring life into the world, or helping them transition to the eternal and maybe if they're having a situation where they're kind of uh, feeling at dis-ease about leaving this this realm, this world, then you kind of help them to, to process that and maybe seek re reconciliation. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's the suffering that we have mentally or physically. And so as a yoga therapist, it transfers over into all of that work to help reduce suffering and discomfort. Danny, I also wanted to bring out, too, that you created the Sattva Vinyasa Method. So... Explain what that's about. Yes. Um, well, being a yoga therapist, I've, I've dug a lot of deep wells with different teachers in my yoga career of two decades, um, starting with Iyengar and then getting into some vinyasa methods, but under the lens of yoga therapy. And so as a yoga therapist, I also get... Um, you know, information on what kind of yoga injuries are happening. I've been able to work with athletes and dancers and seeing a lot of this repetitive stress injury happening in, in athletes and even yoga practitioners as people like me who are practicing two years or, or for 20 years, two hours a day, you start to see things show up in your body through the different methods that are out there. Sure. Um, so Sattva Vinyasa works with the biomechanics of movement and yoga therapy. Um, so it's different than yoga therapy because yoga therapy assesses and treats disease. Um, and 
Sattva vinyasa is a preventative medicine. So it's for people with healthy bodies, um, but to prevent them from getting those repetitive stress injuries. And then I can also take that into the therapeutics um, of just understanding what yoga practitioners are going through in their vinyasa practices, dancers, athletes, and help them fine tune that so that they can um, work at their optimal. So um, yoga is really about healing, mm-hmm. like a, a disease or dis-ease. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Okay. I didn't yeah. know that. I thought it was yeah. prevented, more like preventative too, but. Yeah, no. Okay. And definitely yoga therapy is about assessing and treating okay. disease and illness. So that's the difference between yoga therapy and regular yoga. Yoga means to yoke. So it's to bring together. It's to bring together the parts of ourselves that have been disconnected through our illness or suffering, whether it's emotional or physical. So it's to bring more harmony and balance into our lives. And that's what sattva vinyasa, um, you know, the three pillars are balance. And that's where Ayurveda comes in because we need different practices in different seasons or for what we're going through. And all of our teachers are trained to meet people where they're at. Um, to create balance. And then harmony is the relationship that we have, the community that we build, whether it's our relationship to others or to the divine. And then flow is to really be in um, the flow with our service in the world because yoga and Ayurveda say that the only reason to, um, to do yoga or any kind of physical activity and to be healthy in our bodies is so that we can carry out our service in the world. So there's a lot about life purpose. To give, to put out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, for our listeners, I met Danny at a, what is it called? It was the Lion and the Lamb conference. It was some sort yeah. of a conference. Yeah. And she was speaking about uh, yoga and Ayurveda. She she educates people about Ayurveda. And that was the first time I ever heard about Ayurveda, which is an Eastern, it's an Eastern practice. Uh, I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly, but it's it's about uh, really listen, uh, listening to what kind of body type you have and then making adjustments based on that. Anyway, she told me about the different body types in Ayurveda. And one of them was, uh, the one that she thought I was, was Vata. There's like vata, pitta, kapha. Is that kapha? Kapha. Yeah. Okay, so I'm close. Good. Um, the one that I was was uh, vata. She thought I was. So I went home and I started researching it. And the funny thing is, is I was starting to go on this more raw diet. And as I began to do this raw diet, have a lot of smoothies, things like that, I started experiencing a lot of digestive problems. And so I'm, I'm wondering if this diet is really good for me. Then she comes into my life at the perfect time and says, uh, I think you might be a, a Vata body type. And in that case, you know, you're, you'll be <clears throat> doing really good if you don't focus so much on raw foods, but have them cooked a little bit. So I started researching it more. And I decided, man, I think this is really me. So uh, I, I basically got rid of the smoothies, more or less, just did them every now and then and stopped doing the raw food diet and cooking my, my vegetables a little bit. And everything improved. Went back to normal. That's great. Yes. Yeah, and I didn't give you any kind of formal diagnosis or pulse reading or anything. No. But, so I'm glad it was working out for yeah. you. <laughs> it's like trial and error, you know? Yeah, it is. It's a big experiment. <laughs> so that's where I met Danny. And ever since then, I've been like, wow, oh, you know, that was so helpful. Um, and I gotten, I've gotten so into Ayurveda. I was researching places around the world that have Ayurvedic clinics and Mm -hmm. retreats and stuff like that. And I actually went to Sri Lanka, went to an Ayurvedic clinic in Sri Lanka while I was there. And so you got me on this whole trek. I love it. Good. But uh, I love I love the body care techniques that they teach you, you know, Mm. like self massage through oils, like warming oils, like almond oil. And I've incorporated some of that and it's very calming. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Yeah, it's so awesome. We'll we'll have her on for another session about that, I'm sure, later if she's willing, right, yeah, Danny? Yeah, sounds good. Just to introduce her a little bit more, uh, some things I left out, but she she founded the Prana Yoga Foundation, which is, is helping people with cancer and things like that to help them understand how to move from that and to heal. Yeah, absolutely. Um, our therapists that work in the Prana Yoga Foundation work with adaptive yoga. So it's a very gentle yoga. 
Um, it's not a lot of muscular effort because we want the blood and the life force, which we call prana, to go into the internal organs, which is really what we need. Because um, even in younger people that have cancer, if they you know, run marathons...